Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, it seems the UK's new top dog has officially had it with the Duke of Delusions and Blasanti monarchy antics from his tacky Californian hideaway. No more narcissistic tell-all books degrading the royal family at every opportunity. No more spotlit interviews dragging the Windsor name through the mud for profit and pity party relevance. The message is loud and clear. Disrespect the crown one more time, and you're getting your pants properly stuffed into that private jet back to the States permanently. I mean, can you blame Sunak for finally growing a diplomatic pair and laying down the law? Ever since abdicating his royal duties, Harry's been nothing but an absolute embarrassment to the very institution that once embraced him. A full-blown Judas goat leading a non-stop barrage of tawdry scandals, salacious accusations, and vindictive revenge breakdowns aimed straight at the heart of the monarchy. First it was that joke of a primetime sit-down with Oprah, where Meghan trotted out her finest Victoria Lumnil-worthy performance as a fragile racial victim. Crocodile tears about the trauma of having to Google the national anthem and curtsy to literal queens. Meanwhile, her house husband went full my wife, simp mode trying to shame his entire bloodline for daring to besmirch their generational honor or whatever. As if anyone forced these two oppressed millionaires to pose in front of a multi-million dollar Montecito compound. Then the pathetic tell-all publishing circus ramped up into high gear. We got endless excerpts about Harry's fudge-packed sexual awakenings, petty rumors about a jealous William, even disgraceful body-shaming swipes at the ancient prink Philip in his final dotage as a cheap punchline, all to shift copies of a hilariously ghost-written book, supposedly revealing his truth to the world. Except the only truth it confirmed was how wildly unfit this spoiled, entitled weakling was for any kind of institutional responsibility whatsoever, let alone carrying the Windsor family torch as a steward of the very empire that afforded him such unearned privilege in the first place. Instead, he gladly reduced his entire ancestral heritage to the punchline of a mediocre comedy memoir aimed at sticking it to his closest blood ahead of securing that sweet Netflix payday. And of course, now the ultimate disgrace, heavily implying and winking winking that the crown itself is racist against his mixed race children. Using kids as disposable human shields for continuously accusing your own grandmother of bigoted discrimination while you luxury LARP as American aristocracy. Not even Markled himself would stoop so low to leverage offspring as victim props. This is all before we even get into the tawdry rumors of past drug use, potential visa fraud, and general rules for thee. Not for me jackassery living that ultra MAGA lifestyle out in the colonies. Frankly, Harry's resume now reads like a complete sociopath who'd sell out his own mama just to lift a few more zeros onto that bloated Spotify money pit. So you can totally see why the new Tory PM has simply had his fill of these two self-appointed Marin County monarchs debasing British institutions on the world stage. No self-respecting nation should have to endure cheeky domestic abuse in the form of repeated tabloid blindsides from its own exiled nobility class, let alone one who's transparently monetizing their bombast for the benefit of American streaming conglomerates. Sources report Sunak's center-right government has been exceptionally clear with House Montecito about the new one-strike policy now in effect. Even a whiff of further inflammatory anti-crown stunts intended to undermine the Commonwealth, the king, or the mystique of British royalty itself, and Harry gets permanently booted back stateside without appeal. No more golden tickets to gallivant home for special occasions or royal excuses to bypass UK immigration laws. From now on, said insiders, the Prime Minister intends to treat the petulant, unpatriotic disgrace of a duke with the same derision and hostility as any foreign belligerent actor working counter to the mother country's interests. Via indefinite visa denials and potential extradition warrants for violations of loyalty, ethics and basic decency against British sovereignty. Mercy for traitors and backstabbers who delighted in undermining national unity through sleaze and scandal. Not on my watch, Sunak is rumored to have groused. If one more glorified American vlogger opens his yap to besmirch our national character and storied institutions for money, he's never setting foot in any of Her Majesty's sovereign territories again. 
Others in number 10 were allegedly far less diplomatic, using even saltier language to characterize England's new zero-tolerance approach to prodigal anti-monarchists continuing to terrorize the crown for content monetization opportunities. I'd repeat their words about Harry verbatim, but frankly can't find any non-slurs to directly quote. Either way, the message is about as subtle as one of those novelty royal guard bayonets right to Harry's lower intestine. While the door remains open for him to finally put the past behind him and dematerialize back into the Windsor fold as a prodigal son returned, one more patented truth bomb tanty targeting Papa Chuck or the Queen Matriarch means full stop banishment. From the UK, the Commonwealth nations, and any realm still paying lip service to the aging empire's long standing cultural credibility established over centuries past. To use parlance the hockey hair himbo might understand, it's the ultimate bench-clearing NHL brawl lineup change of calling up Sunex's personal squad of enforcers, trading out due process and merciful accommodation once and for all in favor of bare-knuckle brinksmanship directly upholding the monarchy's lasting sacred legacy at all costs. Either Harry gets with the program and once more becomes the Scotch swilling, sailing dweeb of yore who couldn't name check his own family tree after too many Jager bombs, or he gets indefinitely QED from the national storyline, along with that deadbeat divorcee of an American wife dragging his sorry patoot halfway across the neighborhood dog, run in search of their next tell all paycheck seed to line the Montichichau's duck pond. And you know what? I say Yahtzee to that whole Manifest Destiny Brexit 2.0 pike dream about transatlantic deportation. For way too long now, we've all endured these two utterly graceless parasites doing nothing but slandering the very people who spoiled them with lavish privilege right up until the self-immolation started. Watching a bald hairy mope about from Half Day Rune Tour to Senility Podcast, mercilessly milking the ghost of his mother's misery for clout and grocery money fan Patreon side hustles, while his cavalcade of Chopin-y D-lister spawn continually lecture the payers about compassion from gilded California compounds between petulant tantrums, all the while spitting obscene contempt at their own ancestral bloodline like the disgraces they'd righteously deserve excommunication on principle alone. Honestly. I'd almost relish seeing England exercise its max diplomatic muscle to physically deport these two glitzy scofflaws back stateside at this point, just for the sheer banter and raging contrarian podcasting content a Meg Sostian would produce in the months to come. Imagine their predictable howls of anguished racism as airport security frog marches them both through lax for daring to question the Crown's magnanimous preferences at all hours of the hour which will surely lead them to start soiling on about classless colonizer oppression forcing them into exile away from Lilibet's rightful Frogmore inheritance and Archie, the champ's grout-scraping birthright, all set to the immaculate turdrop violence of their hostage crisis-negotiating PR team moaning about institutional persecution complexes in the background. So, what do you guys think about this news, guys? Sounds off in the comment, and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.